So in this tutorial, I would like to show you how you can use the power of the new neural engine inside Colab version three for your dailies. And um, I'm going to start, you know, this process in DaVinci because this is the platform that many of our customers are using for dailies. What I did is I just loaded lots of dailies. And as you can see, you know, there is a lot of variety here. We have a lot of haze, you know, then the haze then disappears a little bit here. Right, then we have a, a window on the side. So you see this shot is a little bit over, then we have a little bit darker shots, you know, but in general, you see here is no haze, no window, no brightness is there. This shot, these two shots are completely in opposite brightness and so on. So you see it's a, it's a, you know, most difficult situation for dailies when you have a haze and you have to go and just balance everything. You see the level of haze here and here. Like, so it's just a really hard work, you know, to do this manually. However, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see how well um, a new neural engine from Colab would be able to do this. And the first thing you're going to see when you launch Colab version three is that the interface has changed. And what we did, um, we made it like a little bit simpler. But first, let me just fetch from resolve. So that hasn't changed, that is still the same. So you just basically say fetch from resolve and it's gonna read all the timeline and it's gonna bring it in. So the next thing then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right mouse click and I'm gonna say select all, right? And then I'm gonna say, hey, you are going to be Ari Log C. So basically the color management now happens all on one page. You don't have to go to kind of any other settings. Okay, so then I have option here to still continue wor working Rex on a nine, that is absolutely fine. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and find a shot that has a decent amount of skin, like so that, you know, because it's necessary for the neural engine to be very good. And then I'm gonna go into my show looks. So see now we have here this window, which is called match, right? And then we have a window, which is with all the different AI references, you know, we have expanded that functionality much more in, some of the future tutorials, I'm going to go a little bit deeper inside and explain a little bit how this works. But then we also have a second window, which is only for show looks. And because this show, the daily show that we have is using particular show look, I'm just going to go and say and use this is let's say this Agfa warm, I'm going to double click and that kind of gives me my look. All right. So then I will quickly check how is the exposure. It's looking actually absolutely fine. I don't have to do anything. So this shot is looking very good. And then I'm going to go and say here, hey, you be the match, set it as a match, right? So now we have it as a match. And then all I have to do is I have to say here and I have to say match all. So now I'm going to go and press the match all button and let it do its job. Okay, so now it has finished. Let me go now through. So you see this shot here, it was like, you know, kind of a little bit under, you know, this shot here, actually didn't change it too much. This shot here, but look at this shot. I mean, this is interesting because it had a lot of haze. You see how it matched it now. So this shot here as well, you know, now that basically level of brightness, <laughs> it's, it's consistent throughout. And that is usually the most important thing, you know, when we do dailies, that we just get everything onto the same level, onto the same consistency, right? So like here is also an interesting example. Look, you know, this shot here, right? The, remember, it was very, very kind of hazy and this shot now really matches much better. So what we have is, is, is we have an overall, you know, very good match for dailies. Usually this is all we need to do. I mean, we can still go and manually make any changes if we want to, but in this particular example, I won't do anything. I'm actually quite happy with the way how everything got matched. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and say push to resolve. So basically going to do that. I won't necessarily save it because I'm just doing a demo and now it's going to go and it's going to send um, all of those grades back to resolve and it says, Hey, it has finished syncing. So now when I go back to resolve, right, I can go and have a look and everything is perfectly graded. It's playing back in real time. Absolutely no problem at all. And not just that, it actually applied my favorite node tree that I can then continue using from here on. So yeah, if you have not tried the new version of Color Lab, um, and you maybe have tried in the previously, you know, version 
two or something like that and you know you, you want to give it a second chance I would encourage you to go and download it now we have a 30-day free trial offer going at the moment and um, yeah hope you're gonna have as much fun with it as we do